Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another exciting unboxing episode. I have here my small little knife. It is made of celluloid, a beautiful, beautiful material. And it has a blade. I hope I get it right. Okay, this is the small blade. This is the pack. I've just returned with it from the post office. So the content of this pack, guys, I paid for it 285 lays or a total of approximately 57.67 euros or 62.32 American dollars. So including the shipment cost, and you see this is the box i will try to cut it as good as i can i will start from one side and i will move on to the other side so this is one side i'm not trying to open it from the front side because on the front side there are some uh, personal information the addresses so I'm trying to cut it like this and then I will open it with its top at the bottom so in reverse guys so we have one more okay and the last side is this side here now i think i can open it guys okay oh quite interesting i love when the seller includes these old old magazines so this is a magazine from uh, the communist times this is the dictator Nicolae Ceausescu the dictator of uh, Romania he ruled this country till 1989 at the end of the 1989 in December it was a great Romanian revolution and that revolution overthrew this dictator from power some people think it was a coup d'etat so other fractions of the old communist powers they took the power so <laughs> old communists fighting each other but okay guys so this is a free magazine it is an old magazine i'm not so sure from the 1960s i don't know some uh, th theaters i'm not so sure what kind of magazine it is it lacks clearly its cover, but all the magazines back then, they started with a few pages where the dictator was, let's say, um, uh, like a PR for the dictator, where uh, he's done uh, visits at what factories or, or something like that. So this is a bonus, this is a gift. And I love to read old magazines and old newspapers, so it is quite all right. Maybe, yes, and this magazine, guys, if you watch closely this news, it has also a date. So he made a visit to a, in, to a factory in the capital on uh, 8th of November 1969 so quite quite old and old old magazine now let me show you the content so guys the content is quite simple I bought this ladies purse it is wonderful it's made out of real leather and it is quite quite smooth I think it can be used as a um, hand purse for a lady, but it can also be adapted to be worn on um, their uh, shoulders if you strap 
some kind of, um, I believe, a leather uh, accessory to it. So, this contains another few stuff and I will show them to you. So, first this quite, quite heavy chain and those nice steel nibs and a beautiful fountain pen. So guys, let me tell you what I paid for this. I think it is a quite, quite old purse. I believe it's from the 1930s, but I could be wrong. It, it uh, is immaculate. I don't think it was ever worn. So I paid for this, guys. And for this chain, this is a quite intricate, intricate chain. Just look at it. It's not made out of silver, but it is in an art deco aspect and it is wonderful, guys. It's like uh, there are three snakes or uh, it feels quite uh, like a snake. And look at this beautiful, beautiful pattern. Maybe it should be all right to give you a zoom, guys, to see the beautiful, beautiful and intricate work of this chain. Definitely a chain from the... 1930s i presume it is quite quite old and i paid quite quite a reasonable sum of money i think it was a steal so for this beautiful purse and for this chain i paid only 100 lace which means i paid around 20.23 euros or 21.87 american dollars quite quite a good deal in my point because even though uh, they may be new and they're done in a retro style, I think they are worth all the money. And now let me show you uh, those nibs. And they are interesting, interesting nibs. They are not for fountain pens, but for deep pens. I will try to show them each and every one. I did not pay a large sum of money for them, so another great, great find. Let me give you a zoom, maybe we'll see also the producers of the nibs. And let me start with this nib, it's quite a personalized nib. Maybe it will be better to leave them, okay, on the desk and to take each and one of them. So this has lots of engraving, readies. And here we have Heinziger Blankton. So, Heinze Blackers Fabrik Berlin. This is a German steel, beautiful, beautiful nib. Let me put it here, guys. And let me take another nib. I will maintain the zoom so yes another uh, no this is browse and see and is it is also a german nib but from isel loan i'm sorry about my pronunciation of german cities but i'm not so good in german okay guys Another beautiful nib. This is made in uh, Vienna, in Vienna, so an Austrian car, Kuhn and company. Let me see. Another one here, another Braus nib. Another beautiful, beautiful nib. And I think this is a gold plated nib. Okay, maybe I should put them all down and... Okay, so this is another Browse and Company, Rustica. It has a nice, nice rooster here. Quite, quite a beautiful, beautiful gold-plated steel nib in a wonderful, wonderful shape. Okay, another nib so from myers and son legal pen in birmingham england quite quite nice i have another one from browse 
uh, another one with the rooster on it. I have a simple one from J. Klebs Feather from Vien, from Vienna. Okay. Another one also from the same producer in Vienna. Another one, and this is quite an intricate one, from Schoenecken, Germany, in Bonn. A beautiful, beautiful one. Another simple one, let me see, standard aluminium feeder aluminium feeder so it could be of uh, English origin okay lots lots of uh, nibs I did not expect them to be so many I paid uh, another one from Vienna I paid a reasonable sum of my um, I um, uh, this is a uh, this is a Flaroinox, so even a Romanian one, a newer one from the 1960s or the 1970s. Well, guys, I paid for the lot of nibs and I still have uh, some of them here. I paid quite, quite a low, low sum of money. I paid only 15 lace or only 3.03 .03 euros or 3.28 American dollars. And in my point of view, I paid quite, quite a low sum of money for them. I know that they are good only for deep pens, but they are still part of the history. Another one from Browse. Okay. This is another Flaro, so Flamura Roche Sibiu. When you hear Flaro, they are, pre, they are, this is an acronym, so FLA from Flamura and RO from Russia. Flamura Russia or the red flag from Sibiu. Okay. Another one, let me see, yes, another Browse Rustica with the rooster on it. I did not expect to be so many, many. This is aluminium pen, nice. This is something from Berlin, yes, okay. Let me see this one. Oh, there are two of them, so. One is from Vienna, okay. This one, let me see. Another one from Vienna. And this one, the same from Vienna, the same pattern. Okay. I still have some more names. This is a Shoneken, yes. Nice, nice. Another Shoneken. You know that I am a fan of the Shoneken brand. This is a Heinz Blanker Fabrik Berlin. Okay. Whoa, a quite interesting one. Look at this one, guys. This is also from Heinz Berlin. Quite interesting, oh, quite a specialized nib. I will take some courses because I would need to. What is this, guys? A Shoneken DRGM. So, this is a Shoneken made before 1945. Quite, quite a nice, nice looking nib, as you can see. Interesting one. Wait, I don't see often that type of nib. This is another one from Vienna. And I still have some. 
This is whoa, my first nib from Budapest. Rond, rond toll, E M I Budapest. Interesting nib. And I still have some. This is another one from Vienna. Okay. This is another one from Vienna. Quite nice, yeah, as you can see. Okay. I have a strange one. Look at this, guys. So Berlin on this. A number on this. 65N and made by Haynes and Blackhearts. Okay, <laughs> quite an interesting one. Okay, let me see what I have here. This is another one from Vienna. This is another interesting one made uh, in Berlin. Well, sorry, with the same uh, the same uh, pattern. It's like a correspondence knife. Quite interesting. I'm curious to see how this can write. And I'm down to the last of them. Another one from CBU. As you see, Flamura Roche. Another interesting one, a specialized one, also from Berlin, you can see. And I'm done to the last two. One is aluminium, and the other one, oh, sorry, there are two of them, and I believe they are all, both from Vienna. Vienna and Vienna So guys, I'm sorry it took so long, but I did not know I had so many different type of steel deep nibs and now for the last piece I have here a beautiful beautiful Sheffer fountain pen and I also have from the same seller this little beautiful beautiful box it is in a brown dark color it was not included in this pack but i failed to show it to you guys when i received it from the same seller it is quite quite wonderful and it has a little leaflet i hope i can take it out i'm sorry so this i remember that it had a leaflet and i wanted to share it with you guys sorry about this Maybe I can use a little nib. I hope I won't bend it just to take this out. Yes, I've managed to take it out because I wanted to show you this beautiful, beautiful leaflet. So for a lifetime of writing pleasure, guide to care and refilling. Quite, quite nice. So let me see what they are talking about so they talk about Sheffer refills care of surface finishes gold and silver brass lack fashion and made colors chrome and stainless steel some instructions how to refill your ball points your mechanical pencils your rolling ball pants and also desk sets Quite, quite interesting, guys. And on the other side, we have the Sheffer Worldwide Warranty. This Sheffer writing instrument is guaranteed against defects in materials and workmanship. Any defect will, at Sheffer's opinion, be repaired or the instrument will be replaced by an instrument of equal value when return postpaid to the repair department at one of the locations listed below. Excluded from these guarantees are refills, cartridges and erasers which have finite performance characteristics. 
This guarantee gives you specific legal rights. You may also have other rights which vary from state to state or country to country. So Schaeffer Eaton Incorporated in Fort Madison, Schaeffer Pen, we have a, a distributor in Melbourne, in Brussels in Belgium, in Ontario, Canada, in England, in Paris, France, in Italy, Milan, the Netherlands at the Hague, in West Germany. And it was printed in USA on December 1987. So a quite, quite old, old leaflet, guys. It means that also this beautiful box, it is from 1987. And look at the wonderful condition it is in. Okay, let me leave it aside and let me show you the beautiful fountain pen. If I'm not mistaken, this is a chef for Targa, but I could be mistaken, guys. I'm sorry. I hope that I won't um, give you false information. It has this embedded um, nib, 14 carats, 585. I've always loved the design of this nib. And I think it has also a specific mechanism it is like the um, aerometric mechanisms we see on the Parker 51, but it lacks the inner sac. It could be always replaced. A beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. By the way, guys, I paid for this fountain pen and that box was a gift. I paid only 170 lays or the equivalent of 34.39 euros or 37.17 American dollars. So guys, this was my unboxing for today. You can see a great, great haul of uh, beautiful, beautiful nibs. And I love the, the nibs. I love this box. I like the Schaefer fountain pen. And I'm quite amazed of uh, this beautiful, beautiful art deco piece. I don't care if, if it's not made out of silver or a precious metal. I just love the design. It will be a great, great gift. So thank you guys for your time. This was my unboxing for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed this unboxing, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your view. Have a nice, wonderful day. Bye-bye and God bless.